The Atlantic is quiet. Kind of too quiet. It's a little bit ominous. It's peak hurricane season, and yet we've got nothing going on. No hurricanes, no storms, no depressions, nada. The National Hurricane Center can't even find anything to outlook, basically saying they don't expect anything to form over at least the next seven days. And weather models suggest the rest of August could be silent, which is especially weird considering we're now in peak hurricane season. About two-thirds of all hurricane activity occurs between August 20th and October 10th. So it should be rather busy right now. And it's just not. So what's causing this lull? What's keeping the lid on hurricane activity? And what happens when that lid finally blows off? If you haven't already, follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more hurricane season information. And of course, follow my radar across the board on all social media platforms too. Now, let's talk this one through. We'll start off by chatting about our hurricane season so far, because despite how quiet it seemed lately, we're still way ahead of where we should be. Now, the season started kind of slow. It really took a while to get itself going. Nothing formed until June 19th when Alberto finally popped up, meaning that was the latest start to hurricane season since 2014. So again, a slow start. But then we had Beryl, which became a Category 4 hurricane at the end of June, and by July 1st was a peak strength with 165 mile per hour winds. Beryl set a slew of records. It was the farthest south Category 4 on record in the Atlantic, the earliest Category 5 on record, and the fastest intensifying storm any time in the Atlantic before the month of September, which is crazy. It traveled through the Caribbean and turned north in the Gulf of Mexico, eventually hitting Houston on July 1st with 80 to 90 mile per hour winds, a tornado outbreak and dumping about a foot of rainfall. Since then, Debbie hit the Big Bend of Florida in early August, and then Ernesto just hit Bermuda as a Category 1 hurricane. With these five storms added together, we're already at 46% of the activity of a typical season. We measure that with something called ACE, or Accumulated Cyclone Energy. Basically, how much energy all the storms sort of churn up and utilize. Now, 46%, basically halfway done with a normal season by early to mid-August, is really rare. We are way ahead of where we should be. In fact, this is technically the third busiest start to hurricane season on record, with records dating back to at least 1970. And the craziest part, we should still technically have like 83% of the season left. So if it continues at this pace, we'll have a hyperactive season, assuming we're only like a fifth of the way done. Yet it's been so quiet lately, and we'll stay quiet for another probably 10 days. Why? Well, three reasons. Number one, we've had dust and air from the so-called Saharan air layer, basically all this dust and air from the Saharan desert, blowing over the eastern tropical Atlantic. That suppresses air from rising from below and making storms, so you get kind of nothing. That erodes any tropical waves rolling off the coast of Africa into the Atlantic. Tropical waves are like the seeds of hurricanes, the precursors, if you will, that later mature and form. Number two, the axis along which these tropical waves have been propagating is a little bit too far north to really get tropical storms to form. Because they're so far north, they're pulling in drier, sinking air, and that's cutting back on their chances of development, and subsequently, those tropical waves sort of fizzle. That chokes them out before they can become storms. They're also moving over cooler waters, which kind of knocks the knees out from underneath them. And number three, we have harsh upper level winds that are basically trying to tear them apart before they can ever start to consolidate or organize. But interestingly, those harsh upper level winds have been pumping in monsoonal moisture across central and northern Africa, leading to more rainfall. And I do think once peak season really gets here, say mid-September, that could actually flip the switch and make for more energized tropical waves. So putting it all together, we kind of get why it's been quiet lately, but I don't think that quiescence can last forever. In fact, I think things will change in about 10 to 15 days time. I'd say probably middle of the first week in September is when things will really start to pick back up again and the Atlantic will really wake up. That's because of something called the MJO or the Madden-Julian Oscillation. Basically, a packet of thunderstorms that moves across the global tropics. Right now, it's over the Indian Ocean. But I think in about 9 to 14 days, it starts to meander farther east towards like Indonesia, the maritime continent, areas north of Australia. That's going to cause those harsh upper level winds over Africa to relax a little bit, making it easier for tropical waves to work off the African coast into the Atlantic and maybe start to develop. I also think we'll see a drop off in Saharan dust, meaning that won't be as much of a mitigating factor. And moreover, in about 8 to 10 days, we could see a batch of rising air, rising motion move over the eastern tropical Atlantic, helping to enhance any tropical waves even more. That's with something called a convectively coupled Kelvin wave. Don't worry, that won't be in the quiz. Ignore that. 
For now, weather models show next to nothing until the start of September, and then suddenly activity picks up and we see maybe one or two or more storms form. Don't worry, this is a composite, so you're not gonna have like that full battering ram of like 50 storms. And that's when things get a little concerning because we have record high oceanic heat content, basically hurricane fuel in the Gulf of Mexico. Water temperatures there are nearing records. They're way above normal temperature wise. And so that's high octane fuel for a hurricane. If anything does make it into the Gulf, we could be in trouble. So like we said, looking at everything, nothing's gonna go on for the next week and a half or so. I'd say by Labor Day weekend, things get interesting. So stay tuned. As always, we'll be watching every system, but just know, all good things, even hurricane breaks, come to an end. And when they do, we have to stay weather aware. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.